Hi, this will be review of MS6514 Mastiff thermometer with um, two thermocouples available to channels um, and um, just before you go to buy something like this uh, check if you really want this, if you really need this uh, because maybe this is a not, not good for you so uh, tool itself looks nice physically is uh, done very well there is a uh, two channels both of them are available uh, at the top so is a handy is a no no problem with access to this and have a kind of leg at uh, at the back um, this is a uh, nice because uh, you can put this and is a quite good visible uh, temperature on the display itself is a few information is a t1 and t2 temperature actual uh, readings are i believe is a kind of one second uh, roughly very roughly uh, you can set up type of the uh, type of the prop you you're using this one is a just here is a k type if you buy new one you have to swap uh, swap the uh, setting uh, set this in the settings to to be uh, properly reading next thing um, the bigger one is a t1 the smaller one is a t2 but you can swap this by pressing button so now you have a 2 t t2 at the top and t1 at the bottom uh, but we swap to the normal state just in uh, case oh uh, if you press this again this shows the difference between the props actually there should be no difference so uh, so is a some um, mis uh, mismattering uh, if i can say this this way uh, we come back to we come back to the t1 and now with the celsius you can swap if you are uh, in us you can swap to the fahrenheit and you can swap to the kelvin if you need a uh, if you need a kelvin for example for some physics measurement or something like this so this is a uh, main uh, main part of information um, when you press this long uh, long button is a uh, is an, an not uh, uh, no any top or bottom part is just just one button so if you press this appear small max letter and this show for t1 maximum temperature which was uh, uh, achieved so if i take this the prop in my hands temperature goes up For example, for now, and I take my hands off, my fingers off, and the maximum temperature is a visible still in the still in the window, and this is actual temperature. So, is uh, not not so uh, not so bad. Uh, there is as well time of uh, time of work uh, of the uh, of the this uh, machine. Uh, in this small window so you can uh, you, you can check how long is a measurement uh, take some particular what we have in this, ah, uh, as well there is a average and minimum temperature similar way as maximum this is by pressing button there is a possibility to to swap between them if you press this for longer this uh, mode is uh, switched off there is a uh, in this model there is a possibility to hold temperature so if you have uh, some reading which are goes up and down and you need uh, some particular moment you can just press hold and you know in particular moment what was the state
T-Link, uh, which will be activated when it's a connected wire, a USB wire, and if you hold this for longer, this will be kept for, for a moment. As well, there is a um, possibility to record uh, record the state of the uh, temperature across the across the time. So if you press this mem, the start recording. There is a rig uh, flashing at the top, and that's mean every uh, some period of time is a take measurement you can set up the time uh, in the in the setup i have a setting uh, for five seconds at this moment and there is a uh, 1000 props uh, in memory so uh, if you take this every five seconds for example that will be uh, one hour and 23 minutes so it's not not so bad, uh, and you can uh, just check, you know, what what was the what was the temperature in the uh, in the particular moment. Uh, this recording is running uh, all the time, as long you press again this mem, and this is, this stops uh, the the state uh, of the of the recording. So. Uh, when you have a recording and you want to know what was recorded, you use the button read and there is a recording uh, from the start of the from the start of the uh, uh, setup uh, from the last cleaning in practice. So if it's a new recording and, uh, and was not cleared memory, the start from the free free slot uh, so better to just clear the records before before you go forward so you can you can go for for the reading and there is a there is a uh, some different readings you know across few few seconds when it was done uh, i'm not absolutely sure how to go back from this uh, from the settings, so I will try to. Maybe I have to. Oh, yeah. Switch off is a good enough to to go back. Uh, when you connect USB cable, oh no, this one. They have a special one, the old one, which was removed in Europe from the use the fatter one, but they provide cable. Uh, if you put this cable, the uh, Mm, this meter is uh, powered uh, by USB cable, so is uh, not necessary to keep in mind what is a uh, what is a particular uh, battery state and is uh, not switched off. Actually, uh, you as well can set up. I'm just plug the USB cable, and this goes to the zero as well when it's started. So, um, what more? Um, you have to be very careful with uh, setup, and actually, probably I will do some sticker to nobody who will take this in hands here in in uh, my home. Will delete the settings because if you go to calibration, you can pra in practice destroy the meter. Because if you have a not specialized uh, source of voltage, I, s I mean you uh, is a millivolts and microvolts uh, and uh, some uh, special temperature sample 25 degrees uh, a kind of kind of uh, box with a this temperature is a hard to come back to the proper settings. So don't go to the don't go to the uh, deep to the uh, some some settings now how to go into the setup because anyway we have to use the setup just short press setup start blinking this small icon at the top and uh, by pressing setup this goes through so type K you can swap between 
between this uh, M S R E T J and K is a K for me is okay because I have a K probes. Mm. Next thing is the offset. Probably uh, they are not very accurate, especially if they from China, uh, and you can change the setting if you know exactly how much is it too high or too low for measurement so if you have a kind of a kind of good reference you can setting this uh, set this here uh, same for t2 because this was for t1 uh, p is a power 30 minutes to power off automatically nothing special and uh, this is a SC, or I don't remember. Have to check. Line is a for frequency in your line, probably due to interference. Anyway, it's a 1560 to select and uh, should be in the same as is your in your state. So this is okay. Neck. I don't know is a kind of calibration automatic calibration but I don't I don't go to change this and this is a most critical don't go for cal on because this will destroy destroy the uh, calibration of the meter so be very careful with this CLR this clear memory and this can be done by pressing enter this should blink after this like this now so now memory is cleared and I was pressing again setup and this come back to the settings. And next thing, PC link, what is a probably a one from thing which is a very important for people because uh, otherwise uh, you go for cheaper model. So this model have a USB connection and connection to the uh, PC and by pressing this you are activating now i have a connected usb cable i don't press yet the uh, link for the pc which will be activated by this button uh, activated by long hold not short because short goes moves you to the just just to the setup and uh, what is the story about computer because I had uh, some issue uh, installing software was not good enough to uh, run the run the meter and I'm just stuck for a moment with this so I have to I have to help you and explain how to sort uh, sort out the problem uh, first thing you just go to install software you know the icon and the there is a program which looks like this one you have a, some ports and as long as long you have a no no icons here you can't connect to connect you need the drivers and this have to be download uh, maybe in two ways uh, from microsoft itself or maybe from the software or by setup and this was not enough because this installed just this program uh, which i'm showed uh, this one and there was no no connection so i'm trying to connect to the drivers i have a windows 764 so i was trying to set up this by going this installer this looks like setup goes through but in practice when i go to the uh, my printers and some other things in the in the computer there was no information like com particular com9 because this tool is a uh, our meter uh, is a Silicon Labs CP210X USB bridge to the UART uh, and uh, 
as long as there is no COM9 here or COM8, any particular number, this will be not working for you. But if you have a connect, if you have a port, particular port, which is a like this one here, when you press connect, appear arrows and it is a kind of online. So now I will try, look here, I put my finger to starting the, starting the connection and one, two, three. Okay, and we have uh, information, we have uh, information here. Sorry for using CAM, but for me is a uh, simpler. We can try how it's work, I'm just used on the T, this will be T2 temperature gauge, uh, should be higher with a moment. Oh yes, yeah, sorry, this will be at the top, because they appear from the top, and it goes down. So, it's uh, drawing up, and now I'm leaving the fingers from this, so it should go down, and the second one, same, same way. Uh, this what you can see here you can you have a kind of picture here how it's working so is a uh, every every uh, roughly half a second zero seven second uh, maybe one second depend of the measurement is a uh, hard to say just have to and the props. The most important thing you can export this to CSV file. So I have to stop first. Probably have to stop. Maybe now this will be. Yeah, and you can open this in Excel as files, and this is this what what was for the old story. That's it. Thank you.